Imagine a world where the Sahara Desert, the largest hot desert on Earth, transforms into a lush green paradise. Picture rolling hills covered in emerald forests, sparkling rivers meandering through vibrant meadows, and exotic animals roaming freely. This vision, once confined to the realm of fantasy, is now being considered by scientists and engineers as a potential solution to some of the world's most pressing problems. The idea of terraforming the Sahara, transforming it from an arid wasteland into a fertile oasis, has captured the imagination of many. It's a tantalizing prospect, a chance to reshape our planet and create a more habitable future. But like all grand visions, the reality is far more complex and challenging than it first appears. Transforming the Sahara would require an unprecedented engineering feat, a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to manipulate the natural world. But it would also come with significant risks, potentially disrupting delicate ecosystems and triggering unforeseen consequences. The question we must ask ourselves is this, is the dream of a green Sahara worth the potential risks? Can we afford to gamble with the future of our planet in pursuit of a vision that may or may not come to pass? Terraforming, once a concept relegated to science fiction, is now a serious field of study. Scientists and engineers are exploring ways to alter the environments of planets and moons, making them more suitable for human life. While the focus has primarily been on Mars, the idea of terraforming Earth, specifically the Sahara Desert, is gaining traction. Increasing precipitation in the Sahara is a primary challenge. Creating artificial lakes and reservoirs could increase evaporation and rainfall. Planting vast forests could also boost rainfall by releasing water vapor. However, these solutions have significant drawbacks. The prospect of a green Sahara offers a glimmer of hope in the face of climate change. Proponents argue that a lush, forested Sahara could act as a massive carbon sink, absorbing billions of tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and mitigating the effects of global warming. Furthermore, a green Sahara could have a significant impact on global food security. The fertile land could be used to grow crops, providing sustenance for millions of people and alleviating hunger in some of the world's poorest regions. The economic benefits are also undeniable. The transformation of the Sahara would create new industries, from agriculture and forestry to tourism and renewable energy, generating jobs and boosting economies. However, it's crucial to approach these potential benefits with cautious optimism. While a green Sahara could offer solutions to some global challenges, it's essential to consider the potential downsides and unintended consequences. The Earth's ecosystems are interconnected and complex, altering one part of the system, even with the best intentions, can have ripple effects that are difficult to predict and potentially disastrous. The most significant hurdle in terraforming the Sahara Desert is the sheer volume of water required. The Sahara covers an area of over 9.2 million square kilometers, roughly the size of the United States. To transform this vast expanse of arid land into a thriving ecosystem, trillions of gallons of water would be needed annually. This water demand presents a colossal challenge. Diverting water from other regions such as Europe or Sub-Saharan Africa could have devastating consequences for those areas, leading to water shortages and exacerbating existing conflicts over resources. Desalination, the process of removing salt from seawater, could provide a potential solution. However, it's an energy-intensive and expensive process, and the environmental impact of disposing of the concentrated salt brine remains a concern. Finding a sustainable and environmentally responsible way to meet the Sahara's immense water needs is perhaps the single greatest obstacle to realizing the dream of a green Sahara. Section 5. Beneath the Sands, Tapping into Hidden Waters Beneath the parched surface of the Sahara Desert lie vast reserves of groundwater, remnants of a time when the region was much wetter and greener. These aquifers, some of them containing fossil water that has been trapped for millennia, hold the potential to quench the Sahara's thirst and make the dream of a green Sahara a reality. These underground reservoirs, often referred to as fossil aquifers, are not being replenished at the same rate they are being depleted. Using this water for terraforming would essentially be mining a finite resource, and the long-term implications of depleting these ancient aquifers are uncertain. While the existence of these massive water reserves beneath the Sahara offers a glimmer of hope, accessing and utilizing this water responsibly and sustainably is crucial. 
Careful management and conservation will be paramount to ensure that these precious resources are not exploited and depleted. Section 6. The Price of Progress. Weighing the Risks and Rewards. Terraforming the Sahara Desert is an ambitious endeavor with the potential for both significant rewards and considerable risks. The benefits, such as combating climate change, enhancing food security and creating economic opportunities are undeniably appealing. However, the potential consequences of such a massive undertaking are equally significant. Altering the Earth's ecosystems on such a grand scale could have unintended and potentially catastrophic consequences. Disrupting the delicate balance of nature could lead to unforeseen chain reactions, impacting weather patterns, ocean currents, and biodiversity. The decision of whether or not to pursue terraforming the Sahara is not one to be taken lightly. It requires a comprehensive understanding of the potential benefits and risks, as well as a commitment to mitigating any negative impacts. Section 7. A Delicate Balance – The Interconnectedness of Earth's Ecosystems The Earth's ecosystems are interconnected in a complex web of relationships. A change in one part of the system can have ripple effects that extend far beyond the immediate area. Terraforming the Sahara Desert, while potentially beneficial in some ways, could disrupt this delicate balance and trigger unforeseen consequences. For example, changing the albedo, or reflectivity, of the Sahara could alter atmospheric circulation patterns, potentially impacting rainfall patterns in other regions, including vital agricultural areas. Additionally, introducing new plant and animal species to the Sahara could have unintended consequences for existing ecosystems, potentially leading to the extinction of native species. The interconnectedness of Earth systems underscores the importance of a cautious and measured approach to terraforming. A thorough understanding of the potential ecological impacts is essential to ensure that any intervention does not inadvertently harm the planet we are trying to save. Section 8. Unintended Consequences – The Ripple Effect of a Green Sahara The law of unintended consequences often rears its head when humans attempt to manipulate the natural world on a grand scale. Terraforming the Sahara, while driven by noble intentions, could have unforeseen and potentially detrimental consequences. One concern is the impact on ocean ecosystems. The Sahara Desert is a major source of dust and nutrients that are carried by wind currents and deposited in the Atlantic Ocean. This dust, rich in iron and other minerals, acts as a fertilizer fueling phytoplankton growth, which forms the base of the marine food web. Altering the Sahara's ecosystem could disrupt this natural process, potentially impacting fish populations and other marine life. Additionally, a greener Sahara could alter wind patterns, potentially affecting the movement of the African monsoon, which brings vital rainfall to millions of people in sub-Saharan Africa. Disrupting this weather pattern could have devastating consequences for agriculture and livelihoods in the region. Section 9. A Global Responsibility a call for collaboration and innovation. The question of whether or not to terraform the Sahara Desert is not one for any single nation to answer. It's a global issue that requires international cooperation, collaboration, and a shared sense of responsibility for the future of our planet. If we are to consider such a massive undertaking, it must be done with the utmost care and consideration, involving experts from diverse fields, including climatologists, ecologists, engineers, economists, and ethicists. Open and transparent dialogue is essential, as is the free exchange of knowledge and expertise. The challenges of terraforming the Sahara are significant, but so too is the potential for innovation. This endeavor could spur the development of new technologies and approaches that could be applied to other environmental challenges facing our planet. The Section 10, The Future of the Sahara, A Choice Between Exploitation and Stewardship. The Sahara Desert stands at a crossroads. We can choose to see it as a barren wasteland ripe for exploitation, a blank canvas on which to impose our will. Or we can approach it with respect and humility, recognizing its intrinsic value and the vital role it plays in Earth's intricate web of life. Terraforming the Sahara is a tempting proposition, a chance to reshape our planet and mitigate some of the environmental challenges we face. But it's essential to proceed with caution, guided by science, ethics, and a deep understanding of the potential consequences. The future of the Sahara, and indeed the future of our planet, depends on the choices we make today. A Green Sahara, Utopia or Dystopia? 
The vision of a green Sahara is compelling. It promises climate change mitigation and food security. But the path is fraught with challenges. Terraforming requires immense resources and cooperation. The benefits are undeniable, but so are the risks. Massive ecosystem changes could have catastrophic consequences. Should we terraform the Sahara? Is it worth the potential risks? Can we gamble with nature's balance? The Sahara reminds us of nature's power and complexity. The decision requires deep understanding and scientific integrity. The future of the Sahara and humanity hangs in the balance.